Yeah. Taking the doors off. Is that all go? What are you going to do now? <laughs> so we'll build a chute on a flyway, kind of give us an opportunity to, to slide it in and bring it in. And hopefully the, the balsam fir will tuck in nicely and we'll be able to bring it right in the rotunda. How big of a fir is it? Uh, started out about 42 feet, so a little bit of trimming. We're at about 37 feet. Why do you nail this stuff to the to the door? Uh, it uh, so that it doesn't fall down uh, while we're pulling the tree in. So we want to make sure that it's secure uh, before we pull the tree in. And so we create a chute that allows to squeeze the tree from uh, like a funnel. So it goes from wide to thin to get through the smallest opening, which is here in the doorway. As well as protecting the original wood. Protect the wood trim uh, as well as uh, that's why we remove the doors uh, so that they don't block the travel path for the tree. Little yoga. This is not a capital tug of war. They're getting ready now to pull the tree in uh, to the rotunda. there is to do it quickly and don't stop. What are they doing? So the depth of our industrial stand requires that we have enough clearance that the branches aren't resting on the top. So it has to be able to make it all the way in that tub uh, without obstruction. So we had to trim it up just a little bit um, so we can make it all the way to the bottom of the tub. And this is a balsam fir. They usually are. It's 36 and a half feet uh, Hall, and why do you choose balsam always? We don't have a, a nice big wide entry into the ground floor of the Capitol, so we have to use our typical entrances. And so they have to squeeze down into that little space, and balsams are very flexible. Helps us get a larger tree. They fold the up there. Yep, they fold up, they fold up and come back pretty well. The uh, branches, they're cutting off the bottom. I understand that the carpenters there and the workers can replace those. Yeah, if we need to, we'll, we'll patch just to fill in some holes here and there. Um, we're, I think we're in really good shape this year, but there's always a little bit of patching just to fill it up. What they're doing now is drilling in the uh, base of the tree so that uh, it soaks up enough water. They want it to be able to drink enough water and it goes through more than five gallons a day at the start. So that hole that they've just drilled in there will help it to uh, get plenty to drink. It'll go through about five gallons a day for a week, um, and then it'll tone down to a couple of gallons a day. It's from uh, a private residence in Emory, Wisconsin, who lives within the Shikwamagon Sh Forest. Um, it actually started out uh, at about 42 feet. And so just a little trimming and allowing it to where we wanted it to be today got, got us down to that 36, 37, which is just about perfect. So on the larger side from years past, but um, just about where we want to be. How do you pick it out and, and when? You have to do this well in advance, right? Yep. Um, we make some site visits uh, every year in the October, early or late October, early November time period and uh, choose some. Some we leave uh, okay, Tim, we're in. and we'll take another look in, a, in so the years because they might grow a little more, fill out a little more. So uh, every year it's a treat to go around and see a few of these trees that are being donated or offered to donate.
Climbing up there? Do I? Yeah. Oh. You don't get. It's all part of the job. No, I don't mind heights. Not afraid of heights? Mm -hmm. strands of lights. Mm -mm. Do you guys know how many strands of lights you put up? No. You lost count? Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. I think the number is between a lot and many. Well, when you take them down... <laughs> okay. All right, so tell me about the star. Uh, we ordered it as a kit. It came disassembled, so we put it together, and then we... Put a base coat on it and then the decorative painter and myself uh, used a composite uh, alloy leaf on it. It's, it's kind of like gold leaf but it's an inexpensive metal leaf on it to make it look metallic. So hopefully we get some good reflective light to hit it. Usually stays up through New Year's, right? Yep, usually right around New Year's it'll come down. And thousands from around the state will come to see it. It's beautiful. It is. It is. It'll all start with the lighting on Friday, December 1st. And uh, the public really enjoys it every year. And what kind of decorations this year? So this year we're celebrating the 100th, the 100th anniversary of the Capitol. So that's what the theme has been for uh, students around the state. And so those have been coming into the governor's office. There have been many controversies in the past, M-I-N-I, -I, 
many, from some who insisted it to be a holiday tree and others who insisted it's a Christmas tree. I have over a hundred schools from across the state uh, decorating this tree with uh, Wisconsin specific decorations for the 100th anniversary uh, of the Capitol. This is sponsored by Wisconsin and Southern Railroad. It's a beautiful engine, as you can see. Jerry, you're going to be famous. Famous? Yen <laughs> Fomo? So how heavy is that? Oh, well, maybe 10, 15 pounds. Just for that part? Yes. It's, wow. it's, it's fairly heavy. It's, it's pretty. 10 to 15 pounds. Two electric motors in it, one for each set of wheels, and just wait in there for what it has to haul. Uh -huh. Jim and Debbie, all your grandkids, whoever else you want in the family, come on up and join us. We'll do a little countdown and uh, you can help us light the Christmas tree. Where's the tree? Where'd it go? I'm seeing, honey.